Hi guys, thank you for clicking on this video. So this fragrance that I'll be talking about today is kind of underrated. I don't see a lot of stuff on YouTube about it. So I don't anticipate that I'm gonna get a lot of views from this, but I figure I'm just gonna make a video because I haven't seen a video that is solely about this fragrance and I feel like it's really underrated. But this is from the perfume house called Eric Buderbau. I don't know if I say that wrong, right? <laughs> I never get it right. But he is, it's also known, his perfume line is actually known as EB Florals. And all of his uh, fragrances are Eau de Parfum. And he is a celebrity florist. And he um, had a lot of people that really loved his fragrances. So he, sorry, his uh, flower arrangements. And so he decided to make fragrances based on his flower arrangements. So this one is called Nick's Sunflower, but there is no sunflower in this. <laughs> so um, I will go tell you quickly about this. Um, so I've already sprayed it on my wrist about six hours ago. Now this is the fruity floral fragrance. Now I know I've said before that I don't really care for flor fruity florals, but fruity florals that he does, he does them well. I'm not even a big floral person, but I do respect these fragrances and it's pretty underrated. Um, it's not a very popular um, fragrance in Europe. So when I was working in fragrances, we had European tourists that would come or uh, from the Middle East or Asia and they would usually go for this because they never saw it back home. So uh, this is marketed as a unisex fragrance. It was launched in 2017 and it's made by the perfumer Elias Hermendes. And he hasn't made too many well-known fragrances. His probably his very most popular one is a Vera Wang Princess. That's what he's made. He's also made uh, Givenchy Pour Homme, Gucci by Gucci, the Eau de Parfum and the Eau de Toilette, and um, Low, Cheap and Chic by Moschino. And he's also made three other fragrances from the EB Florals as well. Celestial Jasmine, which was a big seller, Oud Saffron, and Sultry Rose. So this fragrance has, uh, the top notes are Lime Blossom, Quince, Lychee, Narcissus Flower, and Nectarine. The middle notes are Orange Blossom, Tiari Flower, and Jasmine. And the base notes are Osmanthus, Tuberose, White Musk, and Amber. So. I sprayed this on my wrist, but I'm going to spray it on a piece of paper first. Now the sprayer on this is absolutely amazing. And as this is drying, I will tell you, so the price range. So this is a 50 ml bottle I have, but they no longer make 50 ml. But at the time it was around $125. And now they have 100 mils and their packaging is beautiful, by the way, and the bottles are gorgeous, but um, the they also have a 100 mil for $250 and then there's a big 250 mil decanter for um, 600. So I'm smelling this right now and it does smell fruity and floral, but more than anything else, I smell the lime blossom and the quince. The quince is kind of like a bitter kind of orange smell to it. And definitely the lychee. So I smell more like citrus floral and I feel like it's really done well. Now there's no sunflower in this, which is really interesting, but it actually smells like similar to Elizabeth Arden's sunflowers, which is a classic cheap one. And, uh, but it's like taken up a few notches. It's, it's dressed up, so to say. Um, so I'm going to spray it on my wrist now, on this one. And on my skin, yeah, it smells fruity, fresh citrus. It is, in my opinion, a little bit more traditionally feminine, but I have had, I've had sold this to men before. Um, yeah, it's really nice. It's 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 juicy, but not, not like a juicy couture, but it's like a dressed up um, like citrus um, sweet floral. Now I'm going to smell it on this wrist that I've sprayed about four hours ago and it's still there. Uh, there is definitely a projection with this fragrance too. So I have uh, worn it around um, other people and they told me that they it smells like 
um, like a sweet lemonade smell. So, and it's, it's just, it's perfect for summer. It does really, really well in the heat. Honestly, it really does. Um, I, I've actually worn this quite a bit this summer, as you could tell. So, um, would I repurchase this? I absolutely would. I think it's a great summer fragrance. Um, it is, in my opinion, better than, um, the one by Tom Ford, uh, Soleil. I don't like that one as much. Uh, that this one is great. It doesn't have too many white florals. If you're not a fan of white florals, then you'll really, really like it. And it's kind of feminine without being overly traditionally feminine. Like it has an edge to it, which is that citrus, but it's not sharp. Thank you for watching my video. And uh, just so you know, I'm going to have another um, review from the this line coming up soon. I just feel like the other one that I have is more appropriate for the colder seasons. So maybe that's something that I will do. Um, I'm just wondering, I might do a couple of videos where I recommend um, for different occasions, things like that. But right now I just wanna stick with one uh, video per one perfume. So thanks for watching and stay safe. Bye.